As we all know, the Humidity G A1 Pro has come out recently, um, which is this, and this is the Verni 4 Plus. Now I've reviewed the um, Humidity, and you've if you saw that video, then you would see that it's lagging in basic tasks. While the the Verni 4 Plus, even though I haven't reviewed it, works way better. And this actually has the newest MediaTek chip, but. It's the MTK6739, and this has the 6753. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna compare them and show you exactly what, what the differences are. Now, other, other than that, um, these have these both have 3 gigs of RAM. Um, both of them have uh, this one has 32 gigs of, gigs of storage, this one has 16. And what's special about this phone is that it has an AMOLED display and a battery capacity of 6200 6, milliamp hours. So we're gonna. Oh! That was quick. I didn't even notice. Alright, so it boots up faster. Or. Do, wait, does it? I don't know. Alright, so they. That was a bit confusing, but as you can see, they boot up around the exact same time. Alright, let's give these phones a bit to warm up. You can already tell. Like, right now, you can already tell that Vernie is performing better already. Now, this is running Android 8.1, this is Android 7, and this won't get an update, but personally, who's gonna mind? Alright, I think these phones have warmed up enough. Alright, um, let's start opening some apps. Uh, as oh, okay, let's remove those. Okay, now, let's open 9gag. Okay, that that's a tie. Now, uh, Play Store, three, two, one. All right, Yumidigi wins that one. Uh, Chrome. Oh, all right, Yumidigi's um in the lead. All right, let's see what other phone, what other things you can try. Um, how about simple rockets? Okay, so you can. I don't know if you can notice, but the scrolling is is way more smoother on the Verni over here. So the loading times are slower on the Verni. But they're quick on the Umidigi, which I'm a bit surprised. But that doesn't mean that it's the Umidigi performs better. And I'm gonna demonstrate. Let's try. We have a rocket here. You can already tell it's running smoother on the Umidigi. So we're gonna. Um, oh shit, shit, it's fine. I don't know if you can see, but it's actually lagging. It was lagging a bit. There was a bit of frame redraps. And the Yumidigi, I mean, the on the Verni, even when, like, the smoke causes this game to lag. And you can see it's not lagging, it's running very smoothly. Now, the ultimate comparison is got to be PUBG. This is gonna be the biggest difference, the best thing. This is going to be the best way to compare, actually. Alright, we got the Verni at the bottom, Yumidigi at the top. I don't know if you can tell it by the video, but the Verni Thor Plus has a way better screen. Like, in my opinion, at least, the colors are much, much more sharp and vibrant. 
Alright, so both games are loaded. Wait, let's turn the music off. So here I can dismiss it easily. And we're already seeing the key differences. Like the phone is unusable. Like trying to do basic things like multitasking is as you can see on the human digits really bad. And you can't even see the character. But meanwhile here I can still control everything fine on the very four plus. So it's much more stable. Meanwhile here like on the bottom, like the Vernie, it's actually it's the animations and, and stuff are running very smooth. But here it's it's a mess. The the MDG is a mess. So let's, let's try and start at the same time three to one. The loading times on the Umidigi are are slightly quicker, yeah. But when it comes to performance, like the Verni is just better because it has um a more advanced chip. Which begs the question: Why would these phones are around the same price? So why would Umidigi? Why would MediaTek create a newer chip? Like here, oh here it's actually quicker now. As you can see, it's running pretty good. No problems, right? Like there, it's a bit lagging here. It's a bit lagging, but that's pretty normal to be honest. But it's playable. But when I switch to Umidg, it's it's like a slideshow. It's not even you can't even play. Like oh now, even at at its best, it's just still it's still lagging. But when I switch to, it's much better. Like. A, it's actually playable on the Verni 4 Plus. Like, I think I've proven my point. I don't need to actually start a game of PUBG. Oh my god, it's... So, you guys see my point. That the Imidigi is really inferior when it comes to performance. Now I'm going to test one more app that I like to test games on and let's see if I have it installed. Yep, here it is Knife Hit. And let's find it over here. Like the Verni 4 Plus, it's just m much more pleasant to use. It's way more pleasant. I don't see that we have Knife Hit. Oh, we do okay. Three, two, one. Oh, now the Verni is winning. Let's put an X on those. All right, let's play. Okay, I'm gonna do it one by one. First, the the Verni four plus. As you can see, it's running perfectly. Not lagging up, not lagging at all. Okay. Now the Imidigi. And you can see it's. I don't know if you can notice that, but it's really. I mean, it's not running really awful, but you could see at the very beginning there were a bit of lag. Like right now it's fine, but. But if you see my review, like at the very beginning, it has to warm up before you can actually play the the game, which is ridiculous. Like no one should have to do that. And keep in mind, both of these are budget phones. Both of them are at the same price range. The only difference is that that this they both have they, they have slightly different chips. So which shouldn't even cause this much of a difference. So this proves the MediaTek 6739 is a failure. It's not a good chip. And both of the and this phone came out almost a year ago, and it still holds up really well. Like I didn't have this one for a year personally, but it's it's still really pleasant to use. And I'm gonna show you how. Okay, now it's a bit better, but. 
But when a phone comes preset to 0 0.5 animation speeds, you know it's bad. This phone came preset to at 0 0.5. And like right now it's working fine. Like for basic tasks, like if you want to browse the web, it's gonna be this one's gonna be perfectly fine. So if you want and this this one also has more features than the Verney, to be fair. But if okay, I'm gonna put it this way. Me personally, I prefer the for Verney 4 Plus over this phone, but what this one has that the Verney 4 Plus doesn't have is um, Android 8.1, um, like face unlock. This has face unlock. This one doesn't. Um, what else can I? And this as also has a bunch of other neat features like it's it's supposed supposed to at least. Uh, But if you don't care about the latest trendy features, then don't go for the Verney 4 Plus. But if you care, if you're not a gamer, if you don't play any games at all, and use this phone for absolutely minimal things, then this is a, a good choice as well. I'm not saying the Umidij is a bad phone. I'm just I'm just showing you how other phones compare. And these are very similar in terms of specs, but the only difference is the chip, basically. And I was just showing you like that's all I wanted to show basically. Um, how would these phones perform? And also the the fingerprint sensor. The ones in the front, ones in the back. This is gonna be fun. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, I didn't do it correctly on the brain. Okay, three, two, one. Wait, something's going on. Okay, three, two, one. Yeah, that that's that it. That did it. I don't know what that was about, but this is a functioning fingerprint sensor. So, this phone has all the features you, an average consumer, would want. But me personally, the the four plus is better. Like I really like this phone. It's. I would I would use this as as my backup seriously. I mean I do use this as my backup actually. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I've shown you how they perform. If you can be the verdict, you can decide which phone you want to add to buy at the end. But I'm just showing you what you got what you gotta watch out for. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.